Okay, welcome to some other game you've never heard of before. So it's going to be Pioneer Scout Plus. We'll um, get st stuck straight into it. Okay, there we go. So uh, yeah, basically it's a free open source space combat slash exploration slash trading slash everything else space game. And uh, yeah, it's free, it's open source, um, this is uh, the version G20, Pioneer Scout Plus is basically um, a free mod, an open source mod, as well of um, Pioneer Space Sim, and uh, yeah, basically it's much much more, um, well, it's very much improved over the original game, and uh, yeah, unfortunately the uh, main developer of it, of the mod itself, um, it's a bit under the weather to say the least, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but um, from what I can gather, they're... Um, Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, they're not doing too well in terms of health, but hopefully they'll uh, pull through. I mean, they seem alright, um, so what the hell. So basically, it's r the game itself is roughly based on um, on Elite Frontier 2, or whatever the hell it's called. One, one of the Elite games, basically. And, uh, well, there we go. I mean, Elite Dangerous was a little bit... Um, well, from what I can tell from the reviews, it was a bit uh, disappointing, so... Well, screw it, let's just play a free and open source game instead for, um, I don't know, for a bit of a while, I guess. Also using um, music from Freelancer and Homeworld because the in-game music sucks. Of course, I don't play, uh, don't claim ownership or any crap like that. That's just, you know, for um, for your convenience and for my convenience because the in-game music is just god-awful. But anyway, uh, love of that, let's just start at Earth. So unfortunately, we're going to get a bit of stutter because I did actually um, test recording um, a bit earlier on. So uh, basically, um, yeah, we're going to get a bit of stuttering as we uh, take off, but hopefully after that should be plain sailing, basically. So there we go, starting on Earth, and let us quest launch. Bam. Actually, I think I should change this game, game audio a bit as well, actually. Actually, I can still hear it. Yeah, fuck, it's good. Alright, and we'll just have to set up a... <laughs> just set up a quick orbit around Earth. There we go. It's starting to fall towards the Earth, I believe, now, so we'll just uh, enter the uh, orbit, and there you go. So, yeah, basically, it's just the whole OST as one track for. Um, Thing imaging for uh, that I'm using from Freelancer basically, and uh, oh well, that, so that means we're going to be getting uh, battle music happening when there's no actual battles or anything like that. But uh, well, whatever. So we go. That's our little craft. It's um, I can't remember. It's it's decent enough for a starting ship, I suppose. And um, there we go. We are above Earth. So apparently we uh, lifted off from, from Shanghai, and yeah, as you can see, we got a couple of other cities. Los Angeles and Mexico is somewhere on Earth there, and we've also got Mars in that direction. Hyperspace departure cloud as well, that's useful for tracking ships and such. Got London, Moscow, Brasilia. And they have it, so. <laughs> the uh, graphics could be a bit better, to say the least, but um, given what the original Pioneer looks like, this is mooshed definitely an improvement. So, if one thing. Uh, Original Pioneer doesn't have nebulas like uh, the ones that we're seeing here, even though, um, realistically speaking, we shouldn't actually be seeing these particular nebulas, but what the hell, they look pretty good, so fuck it. Indeed. In fact, what the hell, actually, let's see if we can uh, go to somewhere else on Earth. Let's see. Brasilia, why not? Fly there. Yeah, let's see if I Ah, oh, fuck it, let's just stock, actually. Here we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, we'll just uh, go forward. Right, I say that that music is certainly does improve the experience quite a bit, actually. But anyway. It's goddamn in game music was. I mean, it wasn't that awful, but it just was not that good either, actually. So, uh, oh, whatever. I mean, at the very least, yeah, thank God we can actually. Uh, Appropriate, uh, or rather, just use other um, 
music. I don't know. Just I mean, I'm not I'm not really profiteering off it or anything like that. I'm not fucking claiming it to be mine or anything like that. So come on. Yeah, believe me, you don't want to hear the uh, the original game music. That's for sure. But anyway, enough of that. Let's just um, just get to this, this front camera and uh, what the hell? I'll just get it to uh, fast forward a bit. And we should be docking. I think I need a request docking clearance, maybe. No free docking bays. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. Oh, by the way, the reason we're not falling is because I believe the thrusters are being maintained. Yeah, I think so, actually. Well, there you go. Apparently, Earth is pretty busy in the future. Well, actually, as you can see, it's. Not exactly much in terms of human settlements, just a few cities dotted around the entire Earth. There's no um, no Australian cities on the uh, on the screen, as you can see. So apparently, uh, Australian civilization is no more. It's returned to the wilds, I guess. But anyway, let's just request that. Oh, for fuck's sake! And fuck it, we'll just go somewhere else in that case. Uh, oh, what the hell? Actually, was a little bit of manual flying while we're at it. We're just Get over to manual control, and let's see. Probably should actually no, that's right. Manual control, and where's the damn speed sensor? Hmm. Oh, set speed. That's what I'm thinking of. Okay, there we go. So what the hell? Actually, let's just skim the Earth's surface a bit and screw around. Might do a couple of missions. Might fly to a different system. God forbid. It's all good. Thank God for that music as well. I probably should be angling the ship a bit more like this. The green thing indicates our um, direction of travel, I believe. So uh, at the moment we're um, oh, okay, I need to worry about uh, burning up in the atmosphere as well, of course. But anyway, um, right now, yeah, we don't really want to crash into the earth. Although I want to kind of skim the surface a bit. So uh, there we go. We'll just uh, slowly but surely make our way down through here. And I think yeah, the game audio is mostly uh, inaudible. I think. Should be able to hear now would be the thrusters anyway, and uh, can't we hear that? Oh shit! Come on, pull up, you bastard! There we go. It's not to worry about the hull temperature, but then again, um, we are going almost two kilometers a second in relation to the Earth itself. So, what the hell? Let's just skim the Earth's surface a bit. Uh, as you can see, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse for a free and open source game, to say the least. So basically, um. When it comes to uh, the sorts of star systems that are available, well, the entire galaxy is at your fingertips. Um, f hundreds of billions of star systems, or something like that. Uh, the stars around the Sol system, I think it's in about a 60 by 60 by 60 um, light year cube. I'm pretty sure that those are um, those are the actual like the actual star systems that we can see. Um, with our current equipment, and then basically beyond that, um, apart from a few, I think they called them visible stars or something like that. So apparently, ones that you know have already mapped out to some extent, you know, from Earth in real life. Um, yeah, apart from that, uh, yeah, everything else is procedurally generated. So uh, there you go. Pretty big galaxy to explore, just like Elite Dangerous. It's free. It's open source. There's um, some sort of vomit. Uh, Desert here that we're flying over. We'll just see if we can skim a little bit. Uh, we should watch the whole temperature actually. But anyway, we'll just skim a little bit closer. Reduce the speed a bit. Okay, yeah, I don't want to get too close, of course, because otherwise we'll just smash straight into the uh, um, ground, and that won't be too good at all. So, what the hell? There you go. Did a bit of flying around. I've got no idea where the hell we are actually. So, what the hell? Let's just get our asses to Mars. Get your ass to Mars. I think we'll just accelerate a bit more. Why not? <laughs> Off the scales, there. Yeah, I don't think we need to go that fast. Indeed. Yeah, there you go. Exiting the uh, Earth's atmosphere. Just. A that. Yeah, they they really do give the um, ships incredibly powerful engines. Uh, 
in this game. And of course, yeah, they, it uses um, the game uses Newtonian physics, so there's no uh, maximum speeds for ships or anything like that. And yeah, they generally more or less acts like they should in space, um, not 100% realistically. And I think the projectiles. Um, I think the projectiles are simulated slightly differently. I can't remember how so, but um, yeah, I think they're done a bit differently as well. But um, what the hell? I mean, it's more it's more or less authentic and uh, somewhat realistic. So there you go. Any idea? Well, let's get over to. No, not there actually. No, just get rid of that. Perfect. Just uh, set it back to that. Just have a look at the old galactic map. So this is where we are at the moment, actually. So, Sol, Sol Federation, Blue Stars there, Epsilon Eridani Confederation, Green Stars there. Easy, and uh, not quite going to be getting a battle just yet. It seems to be a bit more of an exploration game than anything else, actually. Although, listening to this music kind of makes me want to play... Um, I think it makes me want to play Freelancer, actually. But there we go, there's a whole bunch of systems. systems. I think the white ones are uninhabited, the blue ones, you know, they just correspond to the different factions and all that. But we won't be getting to that just yet, let's just go over to a different planet, like... Actually, I don't think I visited an asteroid before. So, we've got these moons, got these asteroids, Deimos and Phobos. Yeah, what the hell, actually, let's fly over to one of these bastards and see what happens. Perfect, and... Enter new orbit. I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure it said it was inhabited, so I don't know if we can actually dock with something there or not, but, um, well, only one way to find out. Let's see, we'll just check that again while we're getting over there. Hmm. Oops. Phobos space. Well, there we go, it's got one base at the very least. Well, this one's got a few things. Now, there you go, should be easy. <coughs> And of course, yeah, we can actually speed up time a bit, and I think that's what we should do. Yeah, we bid the Earth further well, and uh, Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm also playing this on um, maximum graphic settings as well. I kind of wish that they would make the train a little bit more uh, detailed, but... Uh, yeah, well, what the hell? It's free. There you go, now it just looks like we're just free-falling, I think, sort of. And I'm just using the thrusters like that to sl sort of slow our little or orbits there. I'm not entirely sure why, actually. I think you'd think, it would be, you'd think the ship would be trying to, you know, speed towards Mars as quickly as possible. But, um, it is not, actually, just so that the camera stops jerking around. We'll just, yeah, like that. And um, we'll just put it to, um, side rear view, which basically should stop jerking around. Perfect Amando. Now, there you go. And uh, there is the Earth. Unlike Freelancer, of course, the uh, different, different celestial bodies actually do orbit and rotate around um, around stars and, you know, moons also, you know, orbiting um, planets and such uh, in real time. And here we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's all, um, yeah, all orbits in uh, real time and... Uh... Okay, perfect. So yeah, it's very, um, very realistic indeed. And there's the uh, asteroid of Phobos. It doesn't really look like much. I don't think I can really even fly... Um, I don't think I can really skim it the way I can skim the Earth's surface. So what the hell, let's just dock. Don't have to request uh, clearance, we just uh, we can just dock freely, really. Except for that, um, you know, except for if you know all the docking bays are already uh, taken, which kind of sucks, but uh, well, there you go. I mean, it's, I mean, it's the solar system after all, so, um, yeah, it is going to be, uh, pretty busy, one would expect, I guess. Now, it's, yep, this, this is actually going to, uh, slowly but surely dock. There we go, very fancy lights and all that. Let's see, go. Yeah, well, let's have a look at the, whoops, okay, let's have a look at the missions. I, uh, oh no, that's the station manager, um, yes. <laughs> The portraits, I think the portraits are procedur procedurally generated as well, and, uh, yeah, I mean, really, I think it, it speaks for itself. 
but there you go. Actually, let's just see what the character that we're playing is. Oh, so this is what we've got here, the uh, Eagle LRF, long range fighter I'm assuming. For a fighter I guess it's got pretty uh, good hyperspace range. Unfortunately you cannot mount a fuel scoop or a cargo scoop and uh, no extra passenger cabins either. It does have atmospheric shielding at the very least and this is who we're playing as here, Johanna Scout. Now we can change the name to, um, I don't know, something. Actually wait, can we just... Let's make a new face. Jesus Christ. God, I hope they're procedurally generated. I don't, I don't think anyone would want to draw this stuff on purpose. That's for sure. <laughs> God. Oh, look. Hair is over it, for fuck's sake. Unbelievable. So it's just mi mixing and matching uh, eyes and noses and stuff like that, by the looks of things. Uh, yeah, that that's, that's that's probably as good as it's going to get, actually. And we'll call him Trent. Oops. Trent. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, we're basically just starting out. Registered to the Federation. United Federation of Planets, or something like that. So there we go, got that. That's perfect. Apparently we're in a risk area as well. Minor risk, I think. Yeah, so there you go. Got some cash, got some stuff in the cargo. Oh, that's right, we got hydrogen in the cargo as a spare, I think. Something like that. Hmm. What is that to... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the hyper hyperspace drive does run off of hydrogen, actually. The current thing that I've got doesn't run on run hydrogen. I think it's actually, funnily enough, a water-based... Um, as in the regular thrusters, I think they're, for some reason, water-based. In fact, if we go to uh, station screen, we should be able to find that out, actually. I'm just going to here, looking for some recon. So this is the uh, bulletin board, basically. There we go, yeah, use hydrogen instead of water in your thruster. Jesus, that's expensive. Now yeah, well, just hang up on that, I think. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell, maybe a little bit extra hydrogen would hurt. Planet. Wait a minute, do I seriously have to... Well, actually, how do I... Oh, okay, I'm assuming I just click on it to sell it. So I can't just select bulk amounts, I have to do that single click every time, for fuck's sake. Well, in any case, we've got some extra hydrogen, I think, and oops, that's something. I'm not entirely sure how I'm meant to transfer it from the uh, cargo hold. Oh, okay, we go, refuel and refuel, fuel. Perfect, good, so that, so that should hopefully uh, boost our hyperspace range a bit. I'm pretty sure that was hyperspace range. Uh, yeah, we I'm pretty sure hyperspace drive was using hydrogen. Um, yeah, hyperspace drivers using hydrogen and it looks like the regular thrusters is using uh, water or something. Perfect. Alright, well, what do we have here? Blah, blah, blah. Recon. Too bad I can't really... Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you select like this, it'll say I yeah, don't have enough fucking experience. Apparently there's um, some... Cheat codes and such that you can put in. I'm not entirely sure which code I'm supposed to be using to um, to make them make the game think I've got far more experience than I actually do. But yeah, uh, well, whatever. So blah blah blah. 24 light years. Great. Did not have enough. Why did they even bother offering me that? For fuck's sake! If I can't do it. Uh, right, fuck it. Let's just do a, a mapping mission. I guess local mapping. I suppose that price isn't too bad for current Triton data. No rush. What is the risk? Just a routine. Don't rely on drones. Yeah, why don't they rely on drones? Anyway. That was the first time. Okay, sounds pretty good. So, Titan or Triton or something, whatever. Oh, you must have a radar map to perform this task. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, I need fucking experience and radar mappers for everything. Alright, well, let's see. Uh, they're probably not even 
weapons. Oh, actually, no, they are. Do not have enough money, though. $900 just for that, for fucks. Sake. Just give me something that I can fucking do, at least. Hmm. Probably could just use a little cheat code to get the extra money. But, now, nah, screw it. Let's try to play this legitimately first, because... Fuck it, why not? Uh, let's see... 24 I I'm guessing I can't do that, yeah. Do not, oh, it's gonna say I don't have enough cabin space, of course. Set here, where the fuck is it? Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, come on, not enough fucking experience. It's... I can do it all on one single tank of gas, for fuck's sake. Fucking nuts now. Just give me something I can do. Can I at least do this one? No. That looks like it's going to have to be a loop roulette in that case. Or is there anything else? No, that's it. Alright, fuck it. We'll delivery in that case. So, I have an item to Pluto Research Base. So I'm assuming you get experience by, um... Okay. Anyway, I'm assuming you get experience by doing missions or something. So... Zillia, Pluto... Actually, this one sounds good. So let's go to Pluto. Good. About fucking time. Let me do something. And, well, what the hell? Let's just lift off and do the mission. Bam. Probably uh, end up hyperspace jumping somewhere else, uh, myself, regardless of whether, um, yeah, regardless of uh, you know whether I get a mission to go outside of the system or not. Cause fuck it, soul system just ain't big enough. Anyway, let's get over to shit. Why isn't it selected there? I'm not entirely sure actually. Um, pretty sure they said it was Pluto or something. Check that again. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, okay, it's just myself as the uh, crew member there. Pretty sure there should be a way that I can see. Ah, here we go. Okay. Pluto Research Base. Can we lock that or select that somehow? More info. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Pluto Research Base, I suppose. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's see, Pluto, and vicinity, I think that'll be about right, perfect. So it's going to be a bit of a um, longish trip, but thankfully, yeah, it looks kind of fancy actually. But anyway, um, thankfully we can actually just fast forward, so we'll do just that. Hopefully the um, autopilot is going to compensate for uh, a planet being in the way. And yeah, it looks like that's going to be the case. What the f... Okay. Jesus. I am I'm, I'm running at on faster speed as well. My cam is obscuring the... Um, the thing at the bottom left, which basically just shows the fuel and the date and uh, time compression controls as well. Actually, thank God for time compression. God. Going and... Well, obviously, you know... It would just be ridiculous to do this in real time, of course, so... Uh, we're doing this at maximum speed, and yeah, now as you can see the ship quickly turns around and now it's using its thrusters to reverse and slew down, just so we can get a better view of what's happening. I'll uh, show you there, there we go. So yeah, now the ship's just using its main thrusters just to slow down as quickly as possible as we quickly descend upon Fluto. Fluto. Upon uh, Pluto, I believe we need to go to the research base. So let's just do right, do that right now, actually. Uh, yeah, let's just dock. Pretty sure that's meant to be the case. And yeah, I might get into combat um, at a later stage as well. I'm not entirely sure if there are actually meant to be any assassination missions or uh, battle missions or something like that. But uh, I'm sure if we go looking for trouble, we'll find it. So there you go. Anyway, I think I've sword past this as well. Might fly around a bit on, Ju uh, oh, not on Jupiter, uh, maybe Jupiter as well, but maybe on Pluto first. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Let's do this uh, incredibly exciting 
um, choreo job. Yeah, there you go. You see. Hmm. I suppose it could fly around Pluto a bit. It doesn't really look like much, though. I mean, outside of the spaceport, it's pretty much just going to be uh, desolate. But anyway, prompt delivery is appreciated. Accredited. Blah blah blah. Welcome aboard. Great. A job well done, son. If I do say so. Now, where do we even actually see? What, can we actually see where our money is? Yeah. Not really sure how I can actually see where, where the hell that money is. Could help, maybe. Oh, here we go, cash for 65. Perfect. Yeah, dear. well, what do we have to do? Add to a good old Pluto then, that's the question. Buy some shit. What else can we do? Oh shit, whoops. Ow. Oh. Okay, well, there we go. Apparently, uh, you just need to do like one of these crappy missions first, and then you can apparently take on the longer. Well, the uh, the bigger missions. Whoops! I should have. Okay, I didn't actually think that um, they would accept that. But um, there you go. Apparently, uh, just need a bit of experience, it seems. And I'm not really sure where the hell I'm supposed to be going, actually. So we we'll just have to check the something or rather. Let's just check the. Shit! Where the hell do I check it again? Here. Here. Ah, here we go, perfect. Alright, so we need to go to the Hudson Outpost in NN3146. And we don't have it set as a uh, hyperspace target. I just have to remember what the hell it is. Um, okay, so it's outside of our hyperspace range, so we'll have to make a bit of a. Um, we'll have to do a couple of hops, basically. I think we should be good to go. So NN3146. NN3146. And welcome Sokhtaraz as well. Anyway, uh, let's say in in. Oh, shit, what was that again? And then 3146, alright. 3146. Just want to enter the fucking search of fuck's sake. 6. Enter. There we go. So it's just barely out of range. Spotted time. That's right. <laughs> um, so as you can see, yeah, it's just outside of the uh, range of our hyperspace drive. But if you look carefully, it looks like TZ Aritaris is on the way there. So, set this as hyperspace target, and then we'll jump from there because this, this system is inhabited. We can jump from here to here, presumably. So um, we'll see how that works, basically. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Very unfortunate here. Ben Ruiz. Yes. Just request launch. Fancy names. And away we go. So we should have it as a hyperspace target, but for some reason. I'm not sure if we press hyperspace, it's not going to do anything, so. I don't know why is that. Uh, let's Selecting this now, still not setting it as a hyperspace target for fuck's sake. Oh, wait a minute. And uh, no, is that it? No, damn it. Okay, what if I just select that? Okay, good, we can at least hyperspace there. Perfecto Mando, so, yep, we should be far, out, far away enough from the base. Prepare for a faster than night jump. Nice little 80s effect there, as you can see. Very nice indeed. Jesus. <laughs> oh, outstanding. God damn. Sound effect would have been nice as well, but... What, <clears throat> what the hell? We have arrived. So this thing's inhabited. Laser fire... Oh, shit. Oh, okay. This is actually... Uh, well, it looks like the music is actually going to be appropriate. It looks like we actually got a bit of a space battle happening here. There you go. 
Uh, I'm not entirely sure between who though. LP and UG, UZ, I mean. And if we select them, it's. Um, okay, it'll give us a little lead indicator. It's not really going to tell us anything else about them. I think we need a, like a scanner, like a. Maybe it's that same scanner we need for the mission or something else, but. Um, there we go. Taking place over 17 kilometers away. And I'm not really sure why exactly I'm zooming in on that. I guess I just want to see. Um, see the, the surviving ship that was involved I guess. So, oh no, anyway, it's, it's red on our screen. So actually we do have, oh good, we actually do have our own laser blaster as well. So I guess I could try, actually I think I better save first before I do anything else. Yeah, let's see, oh yeah, there's the video settings there. Good, alright, let's just save. Was that my missile? I don't know. In either case, I don't think he's actually preparing to go after me, so... Um, fuck it, I still want to see... I just want to get close to him, just so I can see if he's going to attack me or not, or something like that. Let's see, I'm just using manual control right now. And we're not exactly going to be intercepting him. He's chasing the missile, basically, from what I can tell. Come on, damn it, let me fucking intercept you, bastard. Ah, there we go. So as you can see, space combat is probably going to be a bit tricky as well. Um, we can see he's got some hull integrity, some shield integrity. We don't know how much or what kind of ship he's even flying, or what faction he's even associated with, so... Um, yeah, fuck it, let's just fly to the nearest um, inhabitants, actually. Maybe I could try... instead of doing that, I think I can just... Um, reef... What the? Oh, and the game crashed. For fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, stop responding. Speaking of which, why isn't the list being shown there? Fucking display. There we go, perfect. Anyway, um. Actually, what is it showing here? Oh, okay, black screen, of course. Brilliant. Well done. Well done, indeed. Probably, I think I'll actually segment this off for YouTube people anyway, so for YouTube people, I shall see you all next time.